Hey, what's up, people? Piz Al here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Arrow Video Limited Edition Blu ray release for Dario Argento's Cat A Nine Tales. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the film as well as a review of the Blu ray. And Cat A Nine Tales was Dario Argento's second film, it was his follow up to the hugely successful Bird with the Crystal Plumage, it was part of his Animal Trilogy, and it is a pretty solid murder mystery thriller. Um, however, by Dario Argento standards, it's kind of uh, a bit underwhelming. And now before I get eviscerated in the comment section by the Dario Argento diehards, hear me out. I began my uh, awareness of Dario Argento with Suspiria. Uh, I followed Suspiria with Deep Red. And from there, um, I watched the likes of Phenomena, Tenebrae, Opera, and I love all those films. All those films, in my opinion, are classics. Suspiria and Deep Red are just masterpieces. They are incredibly beautiful films. And when I think of Dario Argento, I think of lush visuals. I think of vibrant colors. I think of the camera just sweeping camera movements. I think of just, I think of an artist. I think of Dario Argento as an artist and his canvas is film. Um, so it's interesting to go back and watch some of his earlier films like Bird with the Crystal Plumage, which I think is a great uh, murder mystery thriller and Cat of Nine Tales. Now Cat of Nine Tales, uh, like I said, I think it suffers a little bit in that it was... Dario Argento's follow-up to Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Argento felt pressured to capitalize on the success of that film and get another movie out there quickly. And Cat of Nine Tales does have that kind of, uh, that sense that it was a little rushed. It's not quite fully realized. It's almost there, but not quite from a story point of view. Um, but on its of itself... Take away Dario Argento's name, it is a pretty darn solid murder mystery thriller. The characters in the film are pretty darn good. Uh, the blind man, played by Carl Malden, and the newspaper reporter, I forget the actor's name, uh, they're great in the leads. They're very likable. The murder mystery aspect of the film is handled really well. You think it's one character, but then it's not. Then you're like, oh, well, it might be this character, but then it's not. Um, we have a lot of the uh, Dario Argento style in this movie, sort of, you, you see it kind of emerging, his camera movements, his angles, um, it's, it, it's, it's coming out of him in this movie, you can definitely get that sort of, uh, that kind of feel in Cat of Nine Tales. Um, the, uh, the murder sequences... <laughs> They're kind of meh, with the exception of two. One involving a character who gets pushed in front of a train. And that's one of those sequences where when you watch it, you go, whoa. And then you immediately stop it, rewind it, and watch it back about three or four times. Uh, just right in a row. There's a sequence at the end of the film where a character is pushed uh, down an open elevator shaft, and as the character's plummeting down the elevator shaft, they reach up and grab onto the cables to slow their <laughs> descent, and smoke is coming off of their hands, and it's making this awful sound, and it's just... Ugh. On the downside... The story feels like it's almost there. It's just not quite fully fleshed out. And the killer reveal, it's one of those killer reveals. <laughs> it's actually kind of like the Friday the 13th Part 5 Roy reveal where you're like, wait a minute, what? Who, who is that? And then you remember, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's the character that we saw in the first reel for about four seconds. That's the kind of killer reveal here. <laughs> it... Um, in Cat of Nine Tales. So it's a bit uh, underwhelming, let's just say. Um, what Cat of Nine Tales Amber with the Crystal Plumage does have that I think some of the latter Dario Argento films, or, or, or that middle section that includes Deep Red and Suspiria, Phenomena, etc., etc., have, uh, or don't have, is more of a focus on uh, the narrative, more of a focus on the characters. 
and the story. Now, like I said, with Cat of Nine Tails, it's not quite fully realized, but with some of those Argento movies, you really get the sense that he was like the script throw that thing out let's let's focus on the colors let's focus on how the camera's going to move let's focus on the framing um you know it, it was argento's focus was far more on the look of the movie than on telling a uh, coherent <laughs> story um still overall i really liked cat and nine tails it's a bit underwhelming by dario argento standards but it is a pretty darn solid uh, murder mystery thriller. If you've never seen the film, I definitely recommend it. Um, the new Blu-ray from Arrow Video would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you're a fan of Cat and Nine Tales, you definitely want to look into picking up the new Arrow Video limited edition Blu-ray release and adding it to your collection. Uh, the picture quality and the sound quality on the release, both of them I would give a four out of five to. The movie looks great. The movie sounds great. And we get some really nice extras on this set as well. And they include, first up, we get Nine Lives. It's an interview with writer-director Dario Argento. It's 15 minutes and 57 seconds in length. Argento discusses how Cat and Nine Tales initially started as a sequel to Bird with the Crystal Plumage, but then became its own thing. He discusses how much he enjoyed shooting the film in Turin and some of the specific locations, like the cemetery. Uh, he discusses working with Carl Malden and how wonderful he was and that it was uh, one of the high points in his career working with Carl Malden. Argento discusses the sequence in which one character is hit by a train and how they, they orchestrated and kind of pulled that off. Uh, he discusses the end sequence of a character falling down an elevator shaft and how they were able to achieve that. Uh, Argento says that he was initially disappointed in the film. Uh, he felt that it was too quote unquote American, but uh, when the film became a big hit, he was cool with it. So nice interview with the maestro, Mr. Argento. Next up, we get the writer o Mini Tales. It's 34 minutes and 46 seconds in length. It's an interview with co-writer Dardano Sacchetti. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dardano discusses uh, how the Cat of Nine Tales was his first film as a writer. He recalls getting Argento's phone number by actually stealing an address book from an actor uh, that had Dario Argento's number in it. Uh, he discusses what a huge hit the bird with the crystal plumage was and how that led to him co-writing Cat and Nine Tales for Argento. He discusses the writing process uh, and how excited Dario was about the story when they presented the screenplay to him. Uh, he discusses how he spent the money he was paid for writing the film on a record player, 100 LPs, a leather jacket, nightclubs, and women. Uh, he discusses calling Argento and threatening to break every bone in his body when Argento took sole writing credit for the film and was then paid off to keep his mouth shut about it. Uh, he also discusses working with Mario Bava and Dino De Laurentiis. Very entertaining. <laughs> um, very entertaining uh, interview with Mr. Uh, Dardano Sacchetti. Uh, next up, we have Child Star. It's an interview with Cynthia uh, de Carly. Uh, she played the blind, uh, the blind guy's uh, niece in the film. Uh, next up, we have Giallo in turn. It's 15 minutes and 11 seconds in length. It's an interview with production manager uh, Angelo Lucono. Uh, I believe, yes, Lucono. I, I'm horrible with 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 the these Italian names. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, he discusses meeting Dario Argento and becoming fast friends. He discusses shooting the film in Turin and particularly the car chase through the streets of Turin and how they pulled that off. He discusses the cast and how wonderful they were to work with, particularly Carl Malden. Uh, he discusses Argento's working relationship with composer Ennio Morricone. Uh, he discusses the film's success in Italian cinemas. Uh, very nice interview with Mr. Nakano. Uh, we get the original ending for the film, which was an epilogue scene after the death of the murderer that Argento felt was just unnecessary. Uh, we get the Italian theatrical trailer, the international theatrical trailer, and the U.S. domestic theatrical trailer. 
We also get an audio commentary with uh, Argento specialist Alan Jones and Kim Newman. I watched about 30 to 35 minutes of the film with this commentary. Uh, Alan Jones is... He's an Argento specialist. <laughs> He's the world's foremost authority uh, on Dario Argento's films. Uh, very insightful, um, pretty entertaining commentary from what I listened to uh, about 30 to 35 minutes of. This is a really nice Blu-ray release from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. You have really good picture quality, really good sound quality, and some nice extras on this limited edition Blu-ray release. Um, I was actually sent a check disc of the film by Arrow Video to review for this video, so I cannot tell you anything about the packaging or any of the accoutrements that may come with the packaging. However, if you are a fan of Cat of Nine Tales, you definitely want to look into picking up this Blu-ray and adding it to your collection. If you've never seen Cat of Nine Tales, I recommend it, and I think this Blu-ray would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you've seen Cat of Nine Tales, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you've not entered my 10K subscriber giveaway in which I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card, the new Friday the 13th Blu-ray set, or your choice of a horror shirt from my Tee Public store or a hand-painted hockey mask, follow the link in the description, head over to my website, pizzell.com, and enter to win today. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Join the Abuck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Orc145626, Derek Jana, Richard Mead, Jeremiah Lambert, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sabel, Turi Delamore, and Johnny Yeager. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.